Welcome to number 29 of Chinuch at Home. Thank you, Yeshiva Dach Leah of Flatbush and Torah Anytime and Chazak for your kind sponsorship. Question, how do you help a child appreciate the power of accumulation? We mentioned yesterday how building vocabulary one word at a time is actually building the mind of the child. That's how they acquire language in the first two years of their seeming silence in their infancy through toddler. They've been accumulating thousands of words. And as they begin to articulate, you realize, oh my gosh, there's been a bank of hundreds and then thousands of words have deposited in the bank of the mind of the child. And now it's coming out. But when you read stories, and here's the next one. You read stories and teach them the meaning of words that they don't know. Build up a vocabulary base, one or two, three a night, each time you read the story. Take walks every day with each kid. We're home anyway. Uh, And if it doesn't work out that way because you've got 20, 30 kids at home, whatever it is. So... Take a walk every two or three days, go around the block, wherever it is obviously safe in in the circumstances that we're in, and have adult conversations with your children. And what I mean by that is don't dumb down your language or your vocabulary because you're speaking to a three or four or five or six, seven year old. Use the regular language that you would use all the time, even possibly your tone of voice, because by doing so, you end up fulfilling the drush part of the debata bum. Speak with them. It's talking about learning Torah. Poshup shot. According to the drush of the Stipe I heard from Rabbi Dr. Greenwald of a blessed memory, Vidibadavam, talk with your children. And by talking with them at the, so to speak, your level, you're raising them. Talk about Hashkaf in Yanim. Take walks around the block, especially now we're entering spring and summer. It's Shayach. If you have to do on the balcony, on the porch, or in the backyard because you can't for whatever reason, go further, then do that. But use that as an opportunity for conversation where you will dafka use words that part of your adult vocabulary and tell them, do you know what this word means? And tell them what it means. And if not, you'll take it out, take out a dictionary or get your kid to show you how to use Google. Uh, pure humor, of course, no reflection on reality whatsoever. Enjoy.